Yo, what is going on guys? This is Swerf here and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video where I'm very excited to show off this Planet Zoo video as I do believe it is probably going to be my longest or biggest um, Planet Zoo build. Now as you guys know I'm not very very creative um, especially when things don't go my way um, so I do find Planet Zoo a little bit on the tricky side um, especially with all these bugs that it's having like as you can see here the pathing system I have to go up a, li a little bit and then go across um, but today I'm going to be bringing you the uh, insect house and um, I thought what is something that I really love seeing when I go to a zoo and to me personally I love seeing the insects I love going through um, sort of like a tropical atmospheric sort of area and seeing all of these bugs fly around me and snakes and lizards all in their enclosure and I, I just think that's personally a really cool addition um, to zoos in my opinion I love walking through them and I love enjoying watching stuff like this um, so I thought why not try and make a speed build now obviously I ran into a few problems but uh, straight on as you can see more parving problems please Frontier if you see this sort this out <laughs> um, but yeah so the insect house how did I come up with it um, I don't really know I just thought I want like a free lane insect house and I want to include every single insect we have in the game including frogs and iguanas and all of that and uh, I want to sort of include every single bit of it and also I did say from the start that I do want it to feel like it has a, trop a tropical um, atmosphere around it and uh, that's where the greenhouse came in so uh, sort of like a glass slash greenhouse sort of feeling of it and I wanted to try and make it two floors as well so I tried to lift it up here as you can see and make it a little bit higher and obviously I already have the paths and the bridges um, but yeah this is a very exciting build that I did as you can see I'm sort of building the outside of it and I do want to sort of start building the interior just a little bit um, just to see what it kind of looked like because if I were to be honest I don't know if I was going to follow through with this or not um, so yeah I started with a few mini exhibits and I wanted to have them sort of like themed as you can see later on I have like a desert theme and all of that <coughs> excuse me inside um, my enclosures and uh, I really do like the look of this another thing that I did think about doing is putting lemurs in the exhibit um, so lemurs can just roam about and have fun because there's quite a lot of trees and there's very much um, very many places where you can go up and down for lemurs to enjoy um, but yeah I decided to go against that to sort of like strictly make this like a insect house and if we could have put like dragonflies or uh, some sort of like flying insects like this um, around uh, this exhibit I would happily have done that in my whole greenhouse I would have loved to have done that um, just have them flying around to make it more atmospheric um, I don't think I played around with the heater as much which I probably should have done considering this is supposed to be like a greenhouse sort of thing um, so yeah in the meantime as you can see I'm building up the walls just to make them a little bit higher high enough so that um, I can sort of build uh, upstairs as well which did get a bit challenging I can't lie um, it did get a bit challenging I didn't really think it through as much as I'd hoped to um, so next thing in the future I should look out for is plan them in advance definitely plan them in advance and see how it goes um, here I did uh, kind of struggle again trying to find a roof I didn't quite know what type of roof I wanted um, and I didn't really know which ones would attach to the corner so as you can see I'm still struggling still trying to find the perfect roof and I think I do eventually um, there we go yeah so I find this as the perfect roof because um, I want a little dome area and I want it to be like a dome shape because let's be honest most greenhouses either have a cornered like the small ones either have a corner off or the rest have domed off the roofs and um, I wanted to sort of link to that and see where I could get with it again I couldn't find any piece to sort of shape with this um, so that did quite <laughs> quite annoy me um, so I wanted to see what it would be like having a flat roof above that and um, I did eventually do it, I don't think I showed you there, but I did eventually do it to have like a little corner drop off, um, which I thought was quite a good idea, um, it looked quite nice, uh, yeah it's still not filled in, but it looked quite nice to have it there at the entrance, but now as you can see I'm finalising the dome, making it a lot larger, and um, pretty much going to finish the uh, exterior. If you guys want any information about this build, um, currently as you can see you are about 4 minutes into the video, however this build took me 3 hours and 36 minutes, so if you are roughly looking to um, build something like this, try to plan it in advance um, for your time's sake. Uh, this does take quite some time and um, I was not expecting to take this long, but I, as soon as I saw the interior looking so nice, I thought come on I've got to continue it. Um, so yeah, I'm sort of like having some cinematic shots of my own to sort of motivate me to go like come on keep going. Um, also this park that I'm building on is actually my live stream park so I will probably be doing a few more live streams on Planet Zoo and building a few more things um, so last live stream if you haven't checked that out go check it out um, it's about three hours long as well and we built draft um, rooms and everything like that and draft enclosures and everything like that just to make um, 
the park sort of gets some money in. Um, sadly, Sandbox isn't exactly what I expected. Um, I didn't think you'd have to uh, buy to the law of um, having electricity and water pumps and your um, everyone's really upset that they don't have working places, staff rooms and all of this. So they kind of annoy me, so I did kind of give up that live stream. So I do enjoy sort of like building, so I think I might just strictly build and everything like that rather than um, stick to laws in a sandbox, which I prefer not to have. So in Jurassic World Evolution, which most of you guys probably know me for, um, I do tend to sort of take off all the requirements when I do build a sandbox park because that's what I believe it's about and I do have more fun that way because I don't have to stress and worry about much and already that game is very basic but in a good way. Um, it doesn't have too much in-depth detail um, so you're able to build your own park of your dreams and you're able to do whatever you want rather than in this game. It's very, very sort of tricky, you know, um, you kind of have to plan, even on sandbox you have to plan for all of these people coming in, protesters and your dinosaurs not getting well and it does get quite stressful. Um, but yeah, here's, as you can see, I'm sort of like uh, cornering off another part of um, my dome and the whole reason for that is because down in the left hand corner, if you saw it when it was dynamic there, um, where it's like a small edge or a small area, um, that's actually going to be a food court. And I thought, why not try and get some guests going in here, um, having some food and all of that. And I thought it was quite cool um, to have something like that. So people can go see the insects. And then instead of having like insect smell and very much a big tropical vibe whilst they're eating, they can go sit in a little food court and um, eventually just eat their food there and enjoy their drinks as well. Um, so I think I might do a few more of these um, zoos, probably a bit of live streams, a bit of um, videos and see how they do in, in each manner. Um, probably for very long builds, I'll probably, like this insect house, I'll probably sort of make them into a video because again, it took me 3 hours and 36 minutes roughly, excuse me, roughly, and um, the giraffe exhibit I think it took me about an hour or two. Um, the rest, I can't remember what I was doing for the rest, I can't lie. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, when it's sort of like a chilled exhibit that I want to build, then I can probably do it on live stream and uh, chill and interact with you guys. But if I want to sort of focus and make a really nice thing that I'm just thinking of in my head, um, I'll happily do that um, in a sort of video, like so, like today. And uh, as you can see, I'm sort of like decorating the boxes now and trying to make it cornered off into its own aspects. I did try to sort of keep the plants to the same level, so at the entrance I wanted it to be a bit of like pretty plants, you can see different colours and all of that, and uh, you can sort of like enjoy the vibrancy, and then eventually I made it more tropical, and then more desert as you can see towards the end, but um, having this tropical vibe um, I felt was a little bit better, as you can see, um, I had a little bit of colour, a little bit of tropical, and um, I thought it was quite cool in my opinion, and I really loved the look of it still to this day. Another thing that I did actually enjoy about this build um, did turn out to be the paths. I don't know if you can tell by the paths, but if you focus on the paths now, they sort of are like a mossy slash rundown sort of pathing system. And I thought that suited very well for um, having a sort of greenhouse insect house. Um, so like if the insects do break out, which they probably won't, um, they can happily even rummage around underneath the paths. And I don't know, I thought that was quite a cool addition. Um, but again, I didn't really know how many insects were in the game. So uh, you do see me make a couple mistakes. I didn't realize there was six snakes I think there are in the game rather than four. So I did try to make a section of fours for each um, species, but then I realized that not all species have four. <laughs> so I did make a few mistakes, but that's okay because uh, eventually I did make a group of four snakes and then I think a group of two down the other end um, of two snakes that I did actually forget and realize. Again, uh, this, this game is beautiful. Um, hopefully it does get a bit more optimized as you can see the graphics aren't the best although I am playing on ultra quality which I don't get. Um, I know it's not my PC uh, because Prehistoric Kingdom requires more specs than Planet Zoo and Prehistoric Kingdom still runs really beautifully when I do play it on ultra graphics. Admittedly a little bit slow frame rate wise um, but it still runs uh, beautifully uh, unlike the Planet Zoo where it's a bit sort of like blurry on the images um, and yeah so hopefully the game does get more optimized and everything like that. Um, again, if anybody from Frontier is watching, please listen to this. Um, I do have a problem with the camera, so you'll see a few times where I have to sort of go through the entrance after I zoom out from the roof, and that does get a little bit annoying. Um, so it's easy to zoom out the roof, you just scroll and zoom out, but when, when you try to zoom in, you can't zoom through the roof, which is very annoying, so I had to keep going through an entrance that I already had done and uh, go through that way. But uh, I cut that short quickly because right here I'm building probably the, the nicest thing I've built. Um, and this is for frogs. Um, now personally, my mum really hates frogs. She has a phobia of frogs. So um, I was trying to sort of show her this and she had none of it. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I made a nice little pond for like a frog area. 
and I thought it was quite a cool addition to sort of give up the vibe that you're going to see a frog and if the frogs again do escape they have a nice little area to sort of socialize in in this little pond and uh, again one thing I love doing in Planet Coaster are making fountains and here I make a nice little fountain as well just to make um, I don't know more unique aspect to the feel of um, playing it obviously decorate it a little bit more try to keep it away from the paths the trees that is try to keep the trees away from the paths going underneath it and clipping um, but yeah so again another zoom out issue there um, I played around with the vines to see what it's like and I thought eh, do I like it do I not like it and I think I kept it I think so I don't know if I deleted it but yeah as you can see protesters I wasn't really a big fan of having protesters um, they do get quite annoying because uh, again I wanted to turn off disease social needs and all of that but I just like I don't know how to do that if you guys know how to do that in sandbox let me know um, but yeah I'm pretty proud of this uh, sort of exhibit uh, as you can see it's quite a large exhibit and I don't think we're halfway done yet I think we're almost halfway done and uh, then you'll see why because <laughs> this is a bloody beautiful exhibit in my opinion um, and you'll see why soon because I do build a really lovely waterfall in here. I can't lie. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here I wanted sort of like an Asian theme. I wanted um, to have my iguanas, scorpions, and I think no, just iguanas and scorpions. I think. Um, so I wanted sort of like lizards and every uh, sort of like Moroccan, Arabian, Egyptian sort of um, animals you know who are used to seeing um, here. So beetles I could have put here as well, I just realised. Um, but I did put iguanas and uh, scorpions in here. I think the scorpions are in the two and the three iguana species are in the uh, section of three. And I do make it sort of like desert themed so it gets even hotter. Um, so you're in a tropical climate and then you move under the bridge into a more desert themed um, area, which I thought was quite cool. Um, if you ask me, sort of like corner stuff off or layer stuff off just by moving under a bridge. I don't know, I, I, I feel like that's a good aspect. Uh, so that's the ex exit with only one lane. And here again, I tried to build food court. I, admittedly, this section of food court was a lot better than that one because I just couldn't connect these paths up and it kept deleting that whole path. And I don't get why. The pathing system for Planet 2 is very shocking. <laughs> it's very, very difficult. Um, so yeah, um, as you can see, a nice little food court for people to go get their food and then they can go and sit down and eat and throw away the rubbish. And uh, yeah, so maybe wondering where the food stuff is. They'll come in a minute. <laughs> I tried to lay uh, uh, benches down um, just so people can chill whenever they're walking because that's one thing I'm used to doing in JPOG is putting loads of benches, but in Jurassic World Evolution, since there aren't any benches, I can't really put any benches and I completely forget about doing it. Um, so in Planet uh, Zoo, I do tend to put down benches as, as well as I can and as many times as I can. And again, um, I add like a little shell, try to make a little bit themed off put a few more plants and enjoy it. I am running out of things to say, I can't lie. Uh, overall this build I think was quite fun. Um, again, three hours I could see, every time I take a little bit of break, you probably can't see it because it's a speed build, but every time I took a break, I just looked outside and I was like, it's getting darker, it's getting so much darker. Because um, I started around, I wanna say two o'clock? Yeah, so I started around two o'clock and finished just after 5.30. Um, so it was a bit of a, sort of like seeing the time go by, you look outside, it's bright, and then when it gets to about three o'clock, it's getting a little bit darker, a little bit dimmer. Four o'clock, a little bit dimmer. Half four, dark. It literally jumps from a little bit of dim dimness to then complete darkness. Um, so yeah, it's, it's kind of stuff that you don't you don't really want to um, notice. But again, I love building my fountains. I'll let you enjoy that for a bit. So I said to go take a drink of water. But yeah, so I tried to build like another tropical fountain area. Um, I believe I wanted to put yellow an anacondas in that one. So I tried to, yeah, there we go, the yellow anacondas. So I tried to make um, it sort of like water themed. If the anacondas do escape, they would go there sort of thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so again, snails, I think it's just cornered off to its own exhibit. And um, there's a few other things um, sort of like across the, the globe. I'm gonna call it globe, don't know why, but across the globe here I tried to make an upstairs again I got a bit confused on this I didn't really know how to make it like I know I wanted to make one but I didn't quite know how to do it exactly so um try to make it as thin of an upstairs as I could possible um again I didn't want it just to be floating it looks very unrealistic so I tried to put like cylinders block cylinder blocks trying to look like it's holding up um which I thought was quite cool I really like to look at it. it's sad that that bit's going through the path but what are you gonna do eh um, again, I put some shops here, and then I think I do a little food court as well. Um, I think so. 
yeah, so I bring the path around, have a little food court so people can just sort of like chill and sit up here as well and enjoy. Um, it does annoy me that that uh, Moroccan building does sort of clip the path a little a little bit. Um, a little bit stressful, I <laughs> can't lie. Um, but that's pretty much about all I could have done. <laughs> I don't know how I could have avoided it. Um, looking at the back of these buildings, I did think they looked very unnatural. Um, so I tried to make these look as natural as possible. Looking back at it, it's not really the most natural. Um, it is a little bit stressful because um, I didn't really think it through. I uh, should have probably thought it through a bit more and looked at a few more tutorials. So trying to make it look more natural, I put a few of vines swinging down so it lo looks like it's overgrowth and it's actually supposed to be like that um, rather than look, making it look like real crap, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think we're coming towards the end of the speed build. Obviously, I think for you guys, you've got about five to seven minutes long, depends how edit this probably about five to seven minutes more so i'll probably put a bit of background music as i finish off building this gorgeous waterfall as you can see start building it um i learned this from building it from my um giraffe exhibit if you saw my live stream i learned how to build waterfalls quite nicely uh, so in here i sort of like build really nice waterfalls and i do enjoy it i think it's probably the best waterfall i'll probably do indoors of a building <laughs> um but yeah so please enjoy this little waterfall enjoy the rest of the speed build a few cinematic shots will be coming up uh, towards the end and um, yeah if you want to see this i believe it will be on my steam workshop I currently have it saved as a blue blueprint so when i do get around to putting it on a workshop um, make sure to go check it out uh, just search insect house and i believe this is probably the first one that comes up you'll get everything that's inside and outside and uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoy it um, but anyway hope you guys have enjoyed this um, speed build make sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below and if you guys are brand new to the channel and you're coming from planet zoo uh, make sure to press that subscribe button as i do plan to do a lot of planet zoo content and if you guys do enjoy dinosaurs and Jurassic world evolution and pretty much frontier games um, make sure to subscribe to this channel because this is definitely the place to be um, but anyway hope you guys have enjoyed obviously like comment your, uh, your thoughts down below and subscribe if you're brand new anyway hope you guys have enjoyed like comment subscribe hope you guys had a wonderful day it's been swerve and peace out and enjoy the rest of the video Thank you.